throw every single time. And with that, the ball is loose. Again, just a, a, a incomplete pass there as the ball kind of hopped up in the air. Nice job there as the intended pass was to Grant Hamilton. He had this one in his hands, but right there on him was Josh Rones, who made the shift from linebacker to defensive back. Warner in the shotgun with Hatton to his left. Two receivers to his left. Play action. Look at the throw. That one broken up, and it's incomplete. Nicely done. And, Ricky, like we talked about, real estate gets a little dicey when you're close. One and ten. Wise. Back to pass. Looking. Looking left, firing left, that pass caught by Brody Wilhelm, spins out of the route at the 30, stays on his feet and then drilled out of bounds, and it's good enough for a first down inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line. That's a big play after the catch by Brody Wilhelm, Joe, because he was short of the first down when he first caught the football, but able to get out of that first tackle, pick up a couple of extra yards, and Westlake keeps the drive alive. Westlake marked at the... 18-yard line, so a 28-yard field goal try for Nolan Bartley, searching for his first field goal. Snap is down from Helms, out of the hold, and this one is up and good, so of steel. Now looking to roll the pocket, Why stops, looking to fire the other way. This one a little bit behind, but Grady Bartlett able to handle it. Bartlett off to the races, across midfield, down the right sideline, huge hit out of bounds. Will they get the flag on top of that, or will they get the first down? Either way, Grady Bartlett has ignited the sideline with a huge third down and potential conversion here. Let's take a look. Good deception here and just a brilliant one-handed grab by Grady Bartlett if you need him. A 22-yard pickup. They needed 21, 3-6. Got 22. First to Wise's left, one to his right. He's back to pass on first down and 10. Looking to throw. Long throw to the sideline. That ball is caught. And turning out of bounds and upfield right at the 10-yard line is Jack Sinclair. Welcome to varsity football. Um, 25 yards out. Good snap by Helms. Good hold by Bartlett. And uh, Nolan nails it through for his second made field goal of the night. Slash Rosinski completes a tight end to the right. Two receivers to the left. Down they send a man in motion. Warner looking to throw. Here comes the rush. K gets there. Does the ball come out? No, but it's a huge sack by Nate K. Welcome to varsity football, Nate K, as he came screaming in to drop Warner for his first sack of his career. Yeah, really huge play there for K. One of the first times tonight we've seen Westlake get pressure. I actually thought for a second he might knock that football loose, but regardless, Westlake will gladly take the big loss there of nine yards. Westlake territory. They send Capel in motion, and now on the uh, tap pass to him, he goes down immediately, and a huge play there by Mason Laster. Laster able to tackle Capel in space, and they lose yardage back behind the line of scrimmage to the 25. Making all the way back, wow, all the way back to almost a 30-yard line. Receiving already. First and goal from the nine-yard line. They want to run it, and upended immediately in the backfield is Jonathan Hatton in the backfield. Making plays there for the Westlake Chaparrales, knifing his way in immediately is Ben Carroll. Impressive stuff there, loss of two, sets up second and goal from the 12. Cannot lose track of Jalen Cooper. Now Warner on third down, looking to throw, fires right, towards the end zone, intercepted! Intercepted down the sideline! Oh my goodness, and a ton of real estate! Down the left sideline goes Thompson Bennett. Bennett with a huge return after the pick at the goal line, and momentum has shifted. Thompson Bennett with a pick, and Westlake ball in steel territory. Oh, how badly did the Westlake defense need a play like that, Joe? Desperately, Thompson Bennett coming up with a huge play. On the far sideline, though, you can see Jalen Cooper, the star wide receiver for the night, shaking up. You hate to see that. I, I think he might have been the one that made the tackle there. Tell you what, this is picture perfect. You saw Thompson Bennett just waiting, and just right along the sideline, just a beautiful catch. As Thompson Bennett comes away, with what is his second career interception, his first of the campaign. On the left hash on the short side of the field, that's to the left of Reese Wise, one to his right, on second down, look at the throw. Wide open, catch made by Cal Livingood, spins out of the tackle momentarily, but then it's a nice play there by Lee Smith, who made the play on Brody Wilhelm in the back of the end zone, but Living good, able to make the catch and then spin out of it briefly. Good ball here from Reese Wise. And they pick up 18 yards and a first down inside the Raising Canes red zone. To the Curious if this is four down territory for Westlake. 
Probably not a bad idea just to will their way into the end zone. On the snap, the handoff goes to Bartlett. Straight up the gut. Bartlett into the end zone. Touchdown, Wesley. Nine-yard run there, and now slow to get up. It looks like Richard Grigg is okay. He might have gotten cracked, and he has every bit of an argument to make. We'll look at it here on the replay as he might have gotten taken out on this play. It comes right at your screen. You can see here, does he get tripped up? Not kind of out of our camera angle, but it works. They run the ball inside nicely with Bartlett. He scampers in for six. Touchdown, Westlake. And they take the lead as the interception that started off. 64-yard return for Thompson Bennett, who is at top speed. And there is what Shawnee Rogers was talking about. Jalen Cooper, the only man to catch him. And then Cal Livingood comes up with a catch for 18 yards. Then they run straight ahead here to Bartlett. And what I like about the way Grady runs, we were, were reminded of it a year ago. Just look at the commitments. Watson going to Lafayette. Now second and nine. Looking to wing this one straight over to Cal. Oh, my goodness, Cal Livingood. Livingood just reaching out in stride. How about that throw from Reese Wise? Just gearing up on that back hip and letting it fly. There's a bullet from number nine, and it's a big one to Cal Livingood, who's living great. Watch this catch. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I thought Reese Wise had too much on it, but Livingood able to get there, stretch out the arms. Huge completion. Gain of 34. Bartlett up the middle, inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Westlake, and Bennett. Wilkins' helmet comes off. Should of where they are in the half. Not trying to score too quickly here. And now Wise going to try to bounce it out. Looks left, looks right, goes towards the goal line. He got in. Touchdown, Reese Wise. Touchdown, Westlake. Two-yard touchdown run, his second of the season. And Westlake is in for six. Touchdown, Chaparrales. What a huge, huge, huge response from Westlake here in this second quarter, Joe. Looked like Steele had all of the momentum. A couple of big touchdown drives after that Thompson-Bennett interception. I bet you there comes a point this season when we see Westlake throw out of that jumbo package, but it works perfectly on the ground there with Reese Wise taking it in. Uh, Reese Wise with four wide receivers. Going to fake the run, throw out on a short route to the right. Caught for a first down. Little yak yards at the end of that run by Cal Livingood as he makes the catch out to the 50-yard line, and just like that, the Chaparral's move the chains. With four down linemen, second down and nine after the fumble recovery near midfield. Warner. Snap, turns, hands to Hatton, Hatton stiff arms, but help gets there and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. A swarm of tacklers, Mason Laster is over there to seal the edge, Peyton Luther, and of course Colin Devine getting off the block as well. Just a brilliant, brilliant defense by Westlake here to set up third and long. Yeah, George Jones in there as well, giving up 25, 30 pounds to Hatton, but that's what it takes to get a guy like that to the ground, to the game yeah. tackling from Westlake. George, half back to his right, he's back to pass on third down at 10. Good pocket, fires that pass, caught by Wilhelm. Wilhelm makes the catch for the first down, angles outside of the route, and that is a good effort by Lee Smith, but they're gonna go back and watch that play. Lee Smith jumped the gun, and you know what Mother Superior says, you're not supposed to do that, but, and he, he just got in front of the play before the ball got there, and it left a wide open window for Wilhelm to make the catch. It's a gain of 14 and a first down. The Chaparral's convert. Swing pass to Bartlett. Bartlett gets behind one man, makes another man miss, cuts back towards the numbers. Still on his feet inside the steel territory. I tell you what, he probably should have been tackled at about the 46-yard line in his own territory. But the patience and the way that he cut back on that run after the catch, pretty good stuff here for Grady Bartlett. And we're I'm not going to say he's at 100%, but he's definitely better than he's been in the last couple of weeks. Oh, he looks so much quicker. And what always impresses me with Grady Bartlett, Joe, is he's not a huge back, but he's strong. It is not easy to bring him to the ground. A lot of extra yards there on that play. Gain of 10, 10 from the 13-yard line. Wise looking to hand off. Going wide is Justice Johnson. Johnson gets to the corner. Corner, throws his shoulder down and angles himself out of bounds. Good job there to seal the edge, to create the angle. Rushing over there, I believe, was Sean Robinson. We get a look at the Howdy Honda replay, fighting off his block. And it was, I believe it was Jalen Morgan that was there to kind of seal the edge. A great job there by the defensive end, and of course the safety coming in and making the play over the top to force just a two-yard gain for Justice. We saw it a couple of plays ago with that Sebastian and all blocked Joe, but I think he's making a huge difference in the running game. Keeping him in there as a second back and a lead blocker has really, really opened things up for Grady Bartlett and Justice Johnson. Second down and eight, the ball at the 11-yard line. Five seconds on the play clock. Inside seven minutes to play third quarter. Shaps with a 10-point lead. 
Here comes the throw, firing left. That pass caught, wide open at the five. Now trying to angle towards the corner. He gets in, does Brody Wilhelm. Wilhelm started on the interior route towards the post, made the catch, spun out of the route, ran to the corner, poked the ball out, touchdown Wesley. Brody Wilhelm, impressive, as he picks up his fourth touchdown reception of the season. Touchdown, Wesley. I think Brody Wilhelm does such a good job, Joe, always of using his body as leverage. He knows how big that frame is. He spins to the outside and just stick that big arm out there and get into the end zone. And a good pass from Reese Wise again. Right on the money underneath the coverage. And Bartlett on to hold for Bartlett. Nolan with the extra point try from the snap of Helms. It is up and it is good. Play here for Westlake inside 420 to play in the third quarter. Chaparral's lead by 17. Wise back to pass, stepping up in the pocket is Wise. Across the 40 to the 45. Drag down from behind, falls forward to the 47 yard line. And he's tackled there. Good job by Reese Wise getting out of the pressure, using his feet, and just using that big body, about 220 pounds, to get out to the 46 yard line. Yeah, great recognition there, Joe. And, you know, it's just night and day from a week ago. Reese Wise looks comfortable tonight. He's not forcing anything. He's not rushing anything. That tells me there was a great week of practice. And coach Watching in the Central Texas area. Coming out of the timeout, third and five. Grady Bartlett takes the handoff. Bartlett cuts it into the end zone. Touchdown, Westlake. A 10-yard touchdown run by Grady Bartlett. His second of the night. Touchdown, Chaparrales. A hole you could drive a Toyota Tacoma through, Joe. The offensive line very making good. it look easy. Very, very good as Bartlett scores his second rushing touchdown of the night. And tell you what, folks, if there was a fantasy football team, right now he's kind of mirroring Alvin Kamara's night for the, uh, or I should say, day last Sunday against the Cowboys for the New Orleans Saints. Got our own little version of Alvin Kamara there with Grady Bartlett's performance here this evening. Nolan Bartley out of the hold of Bartlett. The snap from Helms is back. The kick is up, and it is good. 17 seconds remain here in the third quarter. We'll go ahead and keep it here. 30. Justice Johnson on the right hip of Reese Wise, who's still in the ball game. Two wide receivers on the right. They turn, hand it off to Justice. Justice hit, but he stays on his feet. Bounces it outside. 45 to the 50-yard line. Down the right sideline, and then trying to angle back towards the numbers, but he'll be... Pushed out of bounds there, again, out of bounds when the hit comes and down goes Justice, but not before he gets a first down. A big run here with just some patience and balance and able to make one man miss as he bounced off the would-be tackler there at the initial contact and busted out with a gain of 30 and a first down. Wise on third down and eight. Waiting for the snap from Wilkin. Rolls to his left. Wise looking, still looking. Going to tuck it and run. Wise with blockers. Cuts up field. Picks up the first down. And man, I tell you what. We called every snap of Sam Ellinger's career. That's exactly what the rollout looks like. Reese Wise doing his best Sam Ellinger. Again, just not taking no for an answer until the last moment. And then how about the block downfield from Justice Johnson to spring that run for a gain of nine for number nine. Complete performance for Westlake tonight. Now on first and goal from the one-yard line. Wise looking to take it in himself. Lowers his shoulder. Lunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Reese Wise. His second rushing touchdown of the night. The fourth rushing touchdown of the evening. And just like that, power on power. And Westlake wins again in the short yardage with a one-yard plunge by Reese Wise. Touchdown, Westlake. Westlake has just pushed Steele around since the first quarter, Joe. They have completely dominated the Knights up to 247 yards now running the football for the Shaps. 74 yards on that drive, all of it on the ground. Good snap from Helms. The kick is up on the hold of Bartlett. Bartley knocks it through. All right, Coach. Got to be happy with the complete and total team victory. Offense started off a little bit slower in the first half, but once they got going, it seemed like everybody started clicking. I'm just glad we finished. We, we, we've been trying to get to this point all year long. Our boys believed. Our, our boys answered. They showed up to work on Monday, ready to fix their wrongs. And boy, did they they played their butts off today. They played for one. It wasn't perfect, but they cared a lot about each other. And they weren't leaving this field without a win. They weren't leaving this week without being back on the win column. And I couldn't be more proud of them and our coaches for getting their old teeth and going to work this week and responding like champions. What was the message to the team at halftime? Seemed like they came out ready to go, did stumble on that first series, but really came back and were explosive. A finish. Kill the wheel. We got, we got a mentality in our field house called kill the wheel. 
we're going to play good teams. We're going to try to get to that point. We'll get to the fourth quarter, and they don't want it anymore. And I think we finally got a football team, a good football team, all right, where they didn't want it anymore in the fourth quarter. And that's a testament to these kids and obviously the coaches, once again, of working together, believing in one another. We kind of put a big steel frame around that field house, and we didn't let anybody in this week. And, and, and I'm so glad, glad our kids responded and, and hell of a ball game. We're going to take a deep breath now. Congratulations, Coach. See you next week.